Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 16184 as you see in the watermark on the bottom right of my screen. So this was released yesterday Friday, uh, August, uh, April, August, April 28th and um, of course we will take a look at how it goes and new features. There's a couple of new features here one that is already visible, another one that will roll out uh, to everyone in the coming weeks and I'll be of course adding a uh, little something for that and I'll explain. Okay, um, the uh, install went half well, meaning, okay, first of all, error message on both my home and pro machines, I had to click the retry button and it went through on both, except on my home machine I actually had the install, uh, while it was installing, it actually froze and I had to uh, basically restart the install and I still can't have it working. So uh, my home machine right now is a problem. So that means there could be some kind of glitch while the install goes on uh, right now with this uh, new build. But on this machine, the Pro machine, it worked flawlessly. But it was really long, I mean. Um, I, I just can't believe how long it takes to install it. Um, it's much longer than usual uh, for this install, I can tell you that. Now, of course, on my Pro machine, everything is working fine. I've got no glitches. I wanted to do a review yesterday, but I thought, well, okay, with the problems on my home machine and everything, I think we're gonna, I'm going to test it a little longer. So I, I tested it a little more and tested it this morning to see if you know everything was all right. So my home machine is still not working. I'm going to try to fix that uh, before, of course, ne next uh, Tuesday's show, especially Windows Insider Hour. On the Pro machine, it works well. And if you're wondering what's new in here, uh, first of all, so I got no glitches, no problems on the Pro machine. Um, the first new thing that now works is the My People experience. Uh, look at the bottom right of your uh, taskbar. You'll see that there are like two little... Uh, icons of like people and that's the people experience when you click there you now have the people experience and of course it links not only everybody that you want together so that you can easily have uh, conversations with them but it also will link apps together every type of app that can communicate with other people will be in this list so you can actually uh, you know get more and more uh, people in apps um, as we go on and of course people experience as you see here I've got this little round that says GL which is you know my initials for my name so I've pinned my contact here and of course I can click more contacts of course this links everything so it will search for contacts in every possible way for you so this is the my people experience this uh, really um, interesting social like uh, thing across Windows that they wanted to, um, you know, we should have had it in Creators Update. Unfortunately, it didn't make the cut. So it's one of the first new features to be really implemented inside the uh, Windows Insider Preview. So you can check that out, and I'll be checking it out even more as I continue. And I just didn't want to have, you know, pop-ups of contacts of uh, anyone. Uh, I'm going to kind of build some contacts that I can uh, show when we'll talk more about this feature. So that's the first thing and it's a pretty cool uh, thing here. Also, not just that, um, in mail we of course had the focused experience but the focused experience or the focused inbox only works when you have a um, Microsoft account. Well, now they're rolling it out to Gmail. So that means I'm going to add a Gmail uh, this weekend to this uh, Insider machine so that I can actually go to test this as it becomes available. It's not rolled out yet for everyone. It will roll out to Insiders as we go through. So if you've got a Gmail in your mail and you still don't have the focused inbox, uh, it's going to eventually appear so uh, this is um, another interesting feature that we see here uh, for the insider preview of this build. 
Apart from that, uh, there's of course improvements uh, and fixes for uh, across the board, um, basically. And um, basically, uh, this build um, will eventually show us also something um, called Project Neon. So uh, this is is going to be interesting to see as it becomes available. And so uh, two new features, you know, uh, one rolling out slowly with the Gmail focused inboxes. And of course, the My People app. As for fixes that they've done here, um, of course, there was a lot of broken stuff. There's still a lot of broken stuff in this build, uh, but they fixed issues with Nightlight that could get stuck uh, in a disabled state. They fixed uh, things like uh, uh, start to improve, um, you know, scroll ball style and kind of. Uh, feature inside the start that was uh, not available. Uh, all sorts of audio driver and encoding that were fixed because there's all sorts of little things that didn't work well there. Um, also, uh, in different languages, there were some different issues depending on the language you got. Um, since the preview picture and start settings only previewed background and uh, teaming changes, and they um, say that um, basically they're now actually the fixed way that the uh, background can actually match uh, in different places across the uh, operating system. Uh, lots of broken things also. Um, we're, um, by the way, the Photos app was crashing. They fixed that and they fixed the issue where you press F12 and the dev tool, Microsoft Edge, finally. Uh, lots of things also, you know, are happening. Surface devices, you have to take out as the memory card. Uh, double clicking in the Windows Defender icon doesn't work. Um, and some insiders are reporting that some updates were canceled. We're trying to keep, um, you know, trying to find exactly why this is uh, doing that. All sorts of little uh, things. Um, if you got um, apps listed in Windows Inc. workspaces, you might have crashes and need to restart uh, navigation setting update and security the windows update may crash the settings app you just have to restart that's something that was also in the last build apart from that personally uh, like i said apart from the install from my home machine that is still not working um, on this pro machine i've had no issues but i think you know that's starting to show that we're go going to have little issues here and there so um, of course that's something to uh, to remember and to look for because uh, these are really you know builds that are um, you know in a beta state so there's a lot of little bugs in here but apart from that everything seems to be working fine for me and on this pro machine nice to see um, new features appear of course the people experience and also the focus in the focused inbox in the um, mail and calendar app and of course uh, nothing really much more to add for now so as we're moving ahead in the redstone 3 builds uh, really nice to see that uh, slowly we're starting to get some new features that are working in this um, so anyways if you have installed this why not tell me what you went through did it work well did it uh, have some problems or not and like I said both of my machines started with the error when I tried to uh, update but you just click the retry and it worked um, apart from that, I don't really see any bugs right now as I'm using it uh, on my main uh, computer. So uh, why not give me your information about what happened and what you think about your own little uh, Redstone 3 build. And uh, did it go well or do you have glitches or problems? Um, let us know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.